Hello and welcome to Audio Tech Review. Today we have the UE900S headphones by Logitech. My name is Justin and I'll be hosting your video today. Um, so the UE900S is a kind of controversial headphone or uh, earphone. Um, it comes from the UE900, the Logitech UE900, and Logitech had purchased the company Ultimate Ears uh, a while back and it's kind of controversial the way that they are somewhat killing their line and uh, the controversy that surrounds the UE900S headphones in particular is uh, that it's just a rebranding of the UE900 uh, as you can see on the box you can see that there's a blue stem here that connects to the uh, the adapter and uh, the UE900 had a plastic, it was not a unibody, it was a plastic stem and uh, the UE900S model, the actual model is a unibody design and uh, the the durability problems that the UE900 had are supposedly fixed but the problem is Samsung not Samsung, Logitech was uh, just packaging UE900s in a UE900S box and sending them out and basically just screwing people over for an extra hundred dollars but uh, we'll get into that later this is mostly just an unboxing video uh, because uh, there's not really a large selection of unboxings on YouTube for the UE900S. Most of them aren't in English, so let's go. So it's actually a really nice box. Um, pretty basic for Logitech and the Ultimate Ears in specifics. But uh, so it's supposed, see you can see the design of the UE900S. It's supposed to be the unibody with the different the different stem, but uh, we'll get into that later. I, I actually have opened these and I do, these are just a rebranded 900, but they are essentially the same headphones except for some cosmetic differences. So this slides out like this. I can move this out of the bay. Um, this is a nice box. It's got some uh, nice branding on the top. It swings open like this with a diagram of how to insert the ear tips into your ears and fit them to the headphone. Um, so this is just a little protective sheet of paper that comes out. It says UE Ultimate Ears. Uh, right inside you get a large selection of many different sizes of ear tips as well as the earphones themselves and a little compartment that opens up to reveal the rest of the cable. Um, underneath that there is a little, there's a little pull tab here and if you open that up you get even more selections of ear tips. I believe that these are the these are the rub ah, these might be the foam. I haven't actually opened these all the way up yet but there is a selection of rubber and foam ear tips that come with these and uh, as well as some deoxid deoxit uh, cleaning gel for the contacts which was another problem in the UE900s um, the contacts would corrode over time and it, it would basically just ruin the headphones so uh, I guess that they're trying to kind of write that wrong um, underneath that you get some paperwork here we have the no, uh, we have the user manual Pretty long, actually. Well, you'd expect it for a premium product like this, though. Um, we also have some safety information that's in a bunch of different languages. And underneath that, we have maintenance gel information. So this is about the deoxid gel. Um, to the right of that, we have the we have a little carrying case. Now this varies from the UE900. Uh, the 900 model was more of a shiny black. Uh, one piece design that kind of like popped up from the side, but this one this one kind of it swings open and I don't really like it as much as the old one Because it has this little hole back here that things kind of get stuck in when I opened this originally I had some trouble putting the stuff back in the cord back in to close it back up So I don't really know how I'm gonna be able to store the earphones in this, but uh, we'll see well inside of this We also get a we get a little soft carrying bag, which is pretty nice. I always like to, this is what I'll usually carry the headphones around in. Um, as well as some, a different cord, a different cable. Uh, and as you can see, it is detachable. Um, this one is different than the blue one that comes attached. Um, this one does not have the inline controls for iPhone. Uh, so that's neat. This is the one I'll probably be using, considering I use Android. Um, so that's the case. Let's put that back in there. Can. Also grab these papers. Get a little more organized before we dive into other stuff. Um, so back to the main box now, the main container. Um, what we get is you get a bunch of ear tips, and these ones are the. Let's pull one out here. 
These are the foam ear tips. They're like memory foam. I think they're called comply foam. I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't know if those are the ones that are supplied, but they are a memory foam like uh, substance, so they do conform really well to your ears. I do really like these. Actually, the uh, JVC jellies are some of my favorite fi uh, fitting earbuds, and they're like $5 at airports. So I often cut off the little tips and put them on different ones. Um, so that's a little tip there. Um, so let's pull this cable out here and phones themselves. Now when I first got these and the first time I took them out they were a bit more difficult to pull out. Oh, this one's a little difficult. There we go. Um, so here you go. And as you can see, try to focus that. This does have the black uh, separate stem for the connection and uh, so I mean, I'm not really going to get frustrated about it because it is what it is, but it would just kind of would have been nice if Logitech would have um, been more accurate with their branding and not packaged, just rebranded uh, UE900 and actually been more accurate like that. But that's basically it. Um, these are, I will come back with a full review later on, but this was just a basic unboxing. Uh, as you can see, this does have the inline remote here. Um, the buttons feel... They feel solid. The middle, uh, I don't know about this middle one. It's kind of jelloy, but uh, the buttons feel pretty much solid throughout the whole thing. Um, now these ear tips. Let's see what we have here. So I don't, I don't know how I feel about this plastic container. Okay, here we go. Um, these are. Ooh, these are also memory foam. Oh, here's the rubbery ones. These are the uh, rubber tips, as you can see here. So these are the ones for the people who like the more traditional feel. Um, there are some audio quality differences when you put in the, or not quality, but audio signature differences when you uh, switch out foam for rubber or silicon. Um, here is the deoxid gel um, for electrical connections, as I said earlier. Um, there's some, basically what you do is every couple of months or so, you're supposed to uh, disconnect your earphones from, the, uh, from their cable and you squirt a little bit of that gel Let's see if I can do this without through the camera, where's the little arrows you line up these little arrows Let's see if you can focus focus basically I, you line up these little arrows with the lettering it's kind of, there we go and you pull it apart, I'm not going to try to do this over the camera though because I'm, I'm not really competent enough to do that yet um, so the cable, the connector they have a little uh, protector on here that says tested so I guess they tested the quality of the connector I don't really know why you'd need to do that um, but it is it is it, it's I don't think it's gold it's not gold plated I don't believe but it's decent enough quality um, this cable's flimsy enough where you're not really gonna have to worry about uh, stress on the joint so there you go basic unboxing and quick overview of the Logitech UE900s uh, more information about these can be found on uh, HeadFi and uh, as well as some other audiophile websites. Um, they're a really controversial headphone. I'll come back with a full review on these later. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been you. You. Yeah. I am Justin, and uh, this has been Audio Tech Reviews.